So the truly self-honest get banned from Destiny. Or at least banned from yes. the forum. Mm. Oh, she, and then she, well, she, she's she, 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 Yeah, she's back in. She's back with him. Oh. She's got to uh, grow a little bit and then it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Got to say how she was totally wrong all the time and the other Testonians are the best ever and she was just projecting and then everything's fine. Like a bit ego stroking and they like her again. So this guy, he was basically uh, claiming to, uh, well, either as probably it was like, well, bullshit propaganda, to uh, have sex with women to bring them into the destiny belief system. Mm -hmm. Is that it? It just sounds... Yeah, he was looking for a relationship partner who he could convert, sort of. Oh. <laughs> because they say it's okay to have sex with people outside destiny, but really it's not. It reminds me a bit of, uh, I think, the cult leader, uh, David Berg, I think his name was. Um, he used to have, like, young women in his cult, and his wife even, who would uh, be used to draw more people into the cult. The same with uh, Charles Manson's, uh, Charlie Manson's, uh, like, cult there. They used to you have the women there, they used to, like, draw people in by, you know, having sex with people outside the cult drawing them in, right. and that yep. kind of stuff. It's, you know, really, uh, <laughs> like, an obvious, like, uh, you know, if it was true, but I doubt it is, it's, like, a really obvious, like, cult, like, uh, I suppose warning sign would be the best term, you know? Yeah, I've, I've seen one guy's blog post who uh, tried to chat up girls around his area online, and he met one, and then they met. He was like, mm. oh, yeah, this could be a great uh, relationship thing, like, half an hour knowing the girl <laughs> and then he starts talking about destiny and she's like you're weird <laughs> <laughs> and doesn't she doesn't want to anyone then he was like oh well i was just projecting things yada 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 she's not like if, if she's not accepting of destiny i can't date her anyway like what the fuck <laughs> um I, I mean how how can a decent relationship not outweigh being under constant group it's pressure the, from the It's because they, they have to marry the cult, too. Yeah. <laughs> All of them, equally. See, because it, they're, they're not... They're not in a relationship for, you know, to to, to be in a relationship with the, the person. You're, you're going to have to have a relationship with the cult because the person is just... The, the, the cult member is just a representative of the cult. You're, if you want to have a relationship with this person, you're going to have to have a relationship with a cult. Mm, true. What's Cause... another thing? that mm. I think I read it on two blogs. The two of their members, I think it was the girl who cannot tune her piano and uh, <laughs> I think there's some woman who was with a guy whose name is Blood. Just remember the name because it sounds weird. And those two actually said in their blogs that they went into Destiny because their partners were in Destiny and their partners told them either you join the cult or we're going to break up. And that's it. And like, wow, yeah, emotional blackmail. Yeah. That, that, that's totally not emotionally abusive at all. I'm glad you're trying to get rid of these systems. Uh, but you can't judge them because it was done for best for all. Well, no, it's for <laughs> Destiny, so, so it's okay. So you can emotionally torture people. Yeah, yeah. that's excusable then. It's all right. <laughs> it just reminds me so much of some kind of uh, Tom Cruise in Scientology kind of thing going on there, you know? The way, uh, yeah. like, like obviously using the emotional blackmail, using the control, using everything else, and, you know, coercing, you know, a person into the group. A bit sick, really, isn't it? Yeah, I'm thinking it's really pissy when it doesn't work. Yeah. Like, me, 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 me. <laughs> if you really like me, you would join Destiny because it's best for all. Yeah, it's a bit like um, I, I don't know. Imagine, um, like, well, a, a person like saying, "Okay, I'm in this belief, and if you want to be with me, you have to wear uh, chains, and you have to wear a, a ball and chain around your ankle, and you cannot take them off ever. And if <laughs> if you really love me, if you really care, you will." You know, do this for me. And the person's like, well, I don't want to give up my freedom. I don't want to give up my liberty. I don't want to drag around this, this ball and chain with me continuously for the rest of my life. And they're like, what? I thought you cared. You know? Yeah. It's 
pathetic, that's good, isn't it? That's a good sign the other person doesn't really love you. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, yeah, thank goodness for that. Uh, it's not the kind of relationship you want to hold on to. No. I suppose people who are, well, perhaps desperate, on the rebound, um, obsessed, those sorts of people, obviously they would be more easily drawn into that sort of situation, you know? So I imagine, you know, if Destiny ever was to regain some of its former glory and uh, somehow no criticism was thrown at it, it would become, you know, able to carry out that kind of action where it's able to draw in more people through, uh, you know, um, well, obviously playing on the needy, that seems to be their thing. You know, play on the people who do need to some uh, some kind of support, some kind of assistance, and rather than going to a shrink or get in a life, they end up following a, the, you know, their partner or friend or whomsoever into a, well, a, a baldy cult, you know, a shaved head utopia, or, you know, more like a dystopian vision. But even so, it just seems like if they did actually get big, I mean, I don't think they're going to like necessarily be able to reclaim any of their so-called past glory, but I think they can, you know, still be a danger. Because, you know, I've talked uh, a little bit recently about a group, and because some of my friends, uh, other friends on YouTube, have been talking about a Mighty Wind uh, Ministries, or Almighty Wind Ministries, which is a Christian uh, cult. Well, it's not really Christian, it's... Uh, it's kind of like based around a woman who claims to be a prophetess. And... That's a word, prophetess? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, she claims to be you know like... You like, uh... What was that? Uh, Claire Prophet? Was that her name? Um... No, her name... Well, the, the name she got... I'm thinking of is this, mm. this woman. She... It, it sounds similar to, to what... She, she like, lived in the, around Montana... And uh, it was in the '90s, I think. She mm. had books and stuff, a similar thing. And they, they had they had this uh, compound uh, or this uh, this large area of land where they all lived, and they were stockpiling weapons or something like that for the. Because she said there was going to be a nuclear war and all this other stuff. Oh yeah. Well, um, this particular person, I think her name she she gives her name as being Elizabeth Elijah Nicomaya, and says so she's the bride of Christ. Which is really a bit disturbing, to be entirely fair. Oh, so she's Mary. Yeah, she claims she's married to Christ. That she's a, uh, um, well, she's claimed several characters in the Old Testament as being previous like incarnations of her, which is a bit peculiar. But reincarnation is really a Christian thing. Isn't uh, is is she mm. an ascended master too? Well, she's on that sort of line, yeah. But she's like anti-aliens. <laughs> she's Doctor Who. Yeah, she might be. Re regeneration, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. It's more likely than her being married to Jesus. Yeah, very true. Also, they say until death does us part, so I think they've been parted a few times if she has been reincarnated. Yeah, definitely. And um, I forget my point now. Sorry <laughs> about that. Oh, that's all right. Um, basically... Um, Oh yeah, I, I remember now. That group has uh, less members than Destiny. It has a fair number of channels. It's able to gather a fair amount of attention, but still, their main channel only has something like uh, less than a thousand subscribers. You know, compared to Destiny, even a diminished, uh, weakened uh, Destonian cult, Destiny's still one of the big fish. You know, compared to many of the other uh, cults out there who get knocked down far more often than... Uh, Destiny ever has so I think Destiny still deserves a lot of attention you know bad attention uh, usually mostly they get attention from people in their own cult and their mm. own uh, sock puppet channels true so I mean even I, I think it was Spam N who had five YouTube channels and she's one who has fewer YouTube channels than most other Destiny members I could believe so that. Why that let's say we have uh, 60 60 active members, mm -hmm. and each has at least five channels. That's quite a number of subscribers there. True. Yeah, there's, there's only about 100 active members, roundabout.